that's an excellent example of how a very bright student in physics and science or any bright student uh, in a specific subject, but the English skill is just not the same level. And that's how we as teachers can come in and help them. That this in, in, an English, the, an, a skill in English language, excuse me, as I was making a mistake saying that, but being strong in speaking and communicating is a way to be more competitive, or if not just competitive, but to succeed. Right, because then you can share your knowledge with other cultures and other countries, and they can benefit from your knowledge too. So, not just benefiting Thailand, but other countries within ASEAN. All right, thank you for that example. ค่ะสำหรับ quotation สักที่ว่าประเทศไทยนี้น่าจะมีได้เปรียบประเทศอื่นๆในอาเซียนนะคะในเรื่องการเข้าสู่ประชาคมอาเซียนท่านอาจารย์ทุกทุกท่านนะคะทั้งที่กรุงเทพโหหินและหนองคายก็เห็นด้วยนะคะเพราะว่าอย่างหนึ่งก็คือกรุงเทพเนี่ยก็ได้รับการจัดอันดับเป็นแหล่งท่องเที่ยวนะคะอันดับที่1เลยนะคะที่นักท่องเที่ยวจะทั่วโลกอยากจะมานะคะแล้วก็เราก็ยังมีข้อดีในเรื่องอาหารนะคะสภาพภูมิอากาศนะคะแล้วก็ประชาชนของเรานะคะคนไทยซึ่งยิ้มง่ายนะคะให้การต้อนรับนักท่องเที่ยวตลอดเวลานะคะแล้วก็นอกจากนั้นก็ยังมีวัฒนธรรมนะคะซึ่งเราควรจะส่งเสริมนะคะวัฒนธรรมเพื่อให้ต่างชาติเนี่ยได้รู้จักเราให้มากขึ้นนะคะแต่ว่าทางท่านอาจารย์ทางหนองคายก็บอกว่าแต่ก็มีพื้นที่บางแห่งในประเทศไทยซึ่งยากจนนะคะตรงนั้นเนี่ยก็อาจจะไม่ได้ประโยชน์จากการเข้าสู่ประชาคมอาเซียนนะคะซึ่งท่านอาจารย์เชก็ตั้งคําถามต่อไปว่าเออแล้วประชาคมอาเซียนจะช่วยนะคะออพวกเรานะคะที่อยู่ในพื้นที่ที่อาจจะยากจนนะคะหร,หรือว่าห่างไกลได้อย่างไรนะคะซึ่งตรงนี้ก็อาจจะเป็นสิ่งซึ่งเราจะอ,อ,อภิปรายกันต่อได้อีกนะคะอ,อ,อีกอันนึงนะคะที่ท่านอาจารย์ได้พูดถึงก็คือว่าแม้ว่าเราจะมีคนเก่งคนไทยเก่งมากมายทั้งเด็กนะคะที่ไปได้รางวัลเหรียญเหรียญทองนะคะแข่งขันต่อปัญหาฟิสิกส์แต่ว่าอุปสรรคนะคะของเด็กหรือว่าของคนไทยโดยทั่วไปก็คือเรื่องภาษาอังกฤษนะคะไม่สามารถที่สื่อสารได้เพราะฉะนั้นทางกระทรวงศึกษาธิการนะคะก็ควรจะส่งเสริมนะคะการที่จะทําให้พวกเรานะคะทั้งนักเรียนทั้งประชาชนเนี่ยได้พัฒนาทางด้านภาษาอังกฤษมากขึ้นเพื่อให้เตรียมพร้อมกับการเข้าสู่ประชาคมเศรษฐกิจอาเซียนนะคะประชาคมอาเซียนซึ่งก็นี่ก็เป็นจุดประสงค์ของการจัดการสัมมนาการอบรมในครั้งนี้ของเรานะคะก็เป็นส่วนหนึ่งให้ท่านได้ท่านอาจารย์ทั้งหลายนะคะที่สอนภาษาอังกฤษได้รับทราบนะคะปัญหานะคะแล้วก็ได้เรียนรู้ทักษะเพิ่มเติมในการที่จะไปส่งเสริมให้นักเรียนของท่านนะคะได้ก้าวหน้าพัฒนาทางด้านภาษาอังกฤษมากขึ้นค่ะ Thank you Now just a little extra These, This quotation activity is an excellent way or a, a type of activity that you can also do with your students Not these quotes but any quote This is already activating your critical thinking skill Right? Reading something and applying it with what you know Trying to evaluate and interpret a quotation and some ideas. Just a, little, just a little something I wanted to share, something I do with my students also. Have a quotation, think about it, and respond. So let's move on with these five Cs. We have a foundation now. We, we warmed up our, our brains with ASEAN community. And if we could go to the next slide, it's not letting. Can we? Can we have the next slide, please? And the next slide uh, introduces us to the five Cs. Here we go. Thank you. And here we are. Communication, critical thinking, creative thinking, culture, and collaboration. And this is a, an adaptation of the P21 project, or Partnership for 21st Century Skills in the United States. And we're just adapting that for ASEAN community and for our students. So let's go with the first one of critical thinking. We, we practiced that a little bit. We applied it with a quotation. So share your thoughts. Just quickly think about this and any site, just chime in and share. Turn on your mic and say, yes, I want to share my idea. 
Why is this skill more valuable today than ever before? So again, thinking about our students, ourselves. Think about it for a moment in any site. Just respond. Oh yes, we have Huahin, we have Andy. Who wants to share something? Okay, good morning. Um, good I just want to say something about connecting the workplace and the classroom, if I can. And in a workplace, when communication is taking place in the workplace, there's a purpose to it. You're trying to accomplish something. It's usually task-based. There's something that you're trying to get done, some type of job, usually, that you're trying to get done. And that's really what should be happening in the classroom as well. I think that classroom communication should be authentic and often task-based, but sometimes teachers forget about that, and they forget that the communication that's happening in the classroom really should look like and model from the communication that happens in the workplace. So I think a good example for classroom teachers to look to is workplace communication. If we can look at an office space, for example, and find out the type of communicative needs that they have in the office, we can take some of that into the classroom and use that as a model for the type of communication that goes on in the classroom. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, very insightful, because the classroom should be that kind of a, that experimental pot, maybe you could say, where students can make mistakes and learn and practice and learn and practice, and trying to practice what actually happens in the real world, right? Make it authentic, show videos, uh, have some scripts or have students write scripts based on what they learn from watching or listening to certain workplace communication, as Andy was mentioning, right? What actually happens in an office? What do they talk about, right? And many different workplace situations because we don't have a script wherever we go, right? I always try to tell my students that let go of your script. Life doesn't happen like that. The script should just come from here, right? So getting our students used to that, the realness of what happens outside the classroom. Thank you. Would anyone else like to share? Yes, over here. Just hello again, because I uh, just want to share about the the um, the experience in class. Because um, right now, I uh, want to tell you that I come from the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration of the school. Mm -hmm. So it's something is that like we cannot choose the student to study in the class. It's about like 45 up maybe 40 mm. at least. Mm. So in different knowledge and everything, we have to take care of them all. Even though I have the, the, the plan that let them to learn how to like transportation because my school uh, close to Don Muang mm -hmm. airport. Mm -hmm. And then I want to let them learn to destination, arrival, the plane leaving, taking off, all those things. But how no i mean no more teachers to take care of them mm. for like 45 class in one time uh, 45 student in one time mm. and anyway for the the fluently in <clears throat> i mean fluency in using english in other place they're not ready enough to to learn and then they just have been fun mm. when they go out but anyway we can just like to make a role play for them mm -hmm. just like okay to be sometime i have to change from my te teacher to be a, a mcdonald's right. so <laughs> right. to just like, teach them for food and drink right. lessons right. Let, let them know how to ask how much how many mm -hmm. what would you like to eat what would you like to have mm -hmm. like that but just to like uh role play let them speak out and enhance them, encourage them to speak and use English in class. Just like a uh, teacher in Ho Hin said that, uh, uh, I mean, just like 
อืม copy copy from that place in classroom right. and help the student to use English right. that may be the good way to help them to speak English yes. though thank you thank you yes excellent um, English for specific purposes right where we have um, certain lines or vocabulary and dialogue that our students know or should know and should practice when it for certain situations and yes it's good to be armed right for w with many different expressions especially like oh how much would you like any more or etc etc even in learning other languages we have to know basic expressions but also having that and then going from there so the student doesn't have to hold on to that anymore right like letting go so with a lot of practice and a lot of exposure also to many different ways we can express uh, how much is that or express I would like this or is there anything else you would like right because there are many different ways to express uh, uh, that ex uh, that sentence for example so also just that exposure the input flooding input flooding right of, of many different expressions that we can learn in English ค่ะสำหรับคำถามนี้นะคะก็ท่านอาจารย์ทั้งที่หัวหินและกรุงเทพนะคะก็บอกว่าการที่เราจะเชื่อมโยงนะคะคลาสรูมเข้ากับชีวิตจริงเนี่ยนะคะก็ทำได้หลายๆอย่างนะคะอาจารย์แอนดี้นะคะก็บอกว่าอย่างเช่นว่าทำกิจกรรมให้นักเรียนทำกิจกรรมเป็นภาษาเป็นทาร์กสเปซนะคะซึ่งแล้วก็ท่านอาจารย์ทางกรุงเทพก็บอกว่าก็อาจจะเป็นโรเพลย์นะคะซึ่งก็ใช้สถานการณ์ทั้งอย่างเช่นจากสถานที่ทำงานนะคะหรือแม้แต่ในชีวิตประจำวันเวลาเราไปซื้อแมคโดนัลส์หรืออะไรอย่างนั้นก็ได้นะคะก็ทําให้นักเรียนนี้มีแรงจูงใจแล้วก็มีความสนุกด้วยนะคะก็จะได้ได้ฝึกภาษานะคะถ้าอาจารย์เชยบอกว่าแต่ว่าอย่างไรก็ตามนะคะการทำโรเพลย์การทำชาร์กสเปซโปรเจกต์ต่างๆนี่นะคะก็ต้องฝึกเยอะๆนะคะเพราะว่าสคริปต์อาจจะเขียนได้ในห้องเรียนแต่ว่านักเรียนก็ต้องอาศัยการฝึกเยอะๆเพราะว่าในชีวิตจริงไม่มีสคริปต์นะคะนักเรียนก็จะต้องคิดเองให้ได้นะคะต้องใช้ภาษาให้ได้ค่ะ Thank you and so here are some characteristics of a, the communication skill for the five C's and we are familiar with all of these persuading informing entertaining motivating others listening but listening effectively articulating our thoughts as clearly as possible so we can express exactly what it is we what we want to say involves a lot of different types of media in our classrooms because as we know we're exposed to many different media and also different cultures with that as well so on to the third skill right creative thinking what can innovation in schools do for the larger community and the world so now we're thinking about creativity and how this can be applied in our classrooms and into the larger society and the ASEAN community and across the globe. So think about the role of creativity. Any site can respond. เ,เราจะทำให้เกิด creativity นะคะความคิดสร้างสรรค์ขึ้นมาได้ยังไงนะคะในห้องเรียนนะคะโดยนักเรียนแล้วก็จะเชื่อมโยงกับสังคมภายนอกได้อย่างไรนะคะค่ะ Okay, meet again. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. <laughs> okay, I just want to share some idea. Um, in my opinion, is uh, to 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 teach student to 
creative creative thinking uh, I think I have to give them an experience a variety of experience and after that if they see a lot of a lot of example mm. a lot of event a lot of situation mm. they can get some creative ideas and they can learn the mistake misunderstanding mm. in communication in mm. in their group in 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 different situation mm. <laughs> okay thank you that's right yeah again flooding the students with a lot of data a lot of information a lot of like you say experiences not just in the classroom encourage them to go out and explore and try to think about it carefully maybe even take some notes right write a journal what they just learned and from there after they've absorbed it and thought about it they can then make something for themselves right anyone else any style? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm not there enough to call it innovation. Uh, I think the food or culinary arts, mm. this is the subject that I think that uh, everyone loves it for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, culinary art that, for example, that we, uh, we can set up the situation, maybe the simulation for that. Uh, student attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is the culinary art of the Indonesian food. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For the, this is the ingredients, and this is a, how to you have to uh, put it put it something first, second, third. We we, we can serve them with the uh, the order, the subject of the order that mm -hmm. you have to put. Uh, something be the first, second, third, and finally, and that's it. Can eat or not? That is another point. <laughs> uh -huh. But but we we can we can raise for the traditional as well, tra tradition aspect as well, right. because uh, as as we know that in our ten member states we have the uh, different food, but very delicious. Yeah, then, and we can uh, merge the English for this protest as well at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent example. And yes, I do agree. Food, food is a way to bring us together besides music. Yes, <laughs> and language. So many things. But yes, Ajahn, you're, you're bringing up the idea of how, how different cultures can make our culture richer. And with that example of the culinary arts, that's a project right there for our students where they learn about your example Indonesian culture or maybe even specific um, a specific province in Indonesia and the kinds of foods that they have and our students study it and then they present uh, to the class real food how you make it and using workplace English right uh, this uh, would maybe after teaching students how to cook maybe they can have a restaurant role play or scene and then they have to be critics right this is not good or oh this is delicious right using many different phrases and applying them in a real life situation in the classroom that's excellent yes thank you and of course they're having fun yes Ajahn idea um, I think I can care to teach about sing a song mm. to teach a vocabulary mm. for my student right. yes I think they can they can learn about uh, a lot of what also meaning right yes and and obviously with with songs they can learn it in, in a very enjoyable way enjoy by themselves right right songs you know that they can dance to and and yeah. even make up a song not just learning vocabulary but uh using it right yeah. in a fun and creative manner I and that's so. always fun for teachers right thank you <laughs> any other sites hua hin or nongkai would like to maybe something you've done with your students on creativity yes yes hua hin please all right my idea is that the 
the innovation in school very be useful for the community. For example, in uh, in some subject that we allow students to create product, new product from from the local. For example, in Hua Hin, we have a lot, or in Pranburi, in Patuab Kirikan, we have a lot of pineapple. And then we let students think what we can do with the pineapple. And then they might can create some new product or new food, and then it can be very useful for the community, for the people in the province. And then, or maybe other example is that we let students think about the product from recycled thing like maybe from the shell because we are we we have a lot of beach beaches so we have a lot of shell so we ask students to create some product from shell and then it might be very popular we can sell and then we can reduce the garbage from shell as well thank you mm -hmm. hi thank you right innovation we see it all over thailand right with recycled products and uh, that's always exciting when we have students involved in being business minded thinking about how they can take a product and doing something else with it. What can we do that's new about a product? Before we move on, anyone else? Uh, the good way is let the student to interview foreigners by let them mm -hmm. write the daily life question to interview the foreigners. If they don't speak mm -hmm. clearly, the foreigner uh, would be correct them. Thank you. Ah, all right. Going out there and just speaking. With, uh, with foreigners and trying out. Because if they make a mistake, hopefully, the person they're talking to will say, excuse me, did you just say this? I think you mean this, right? Experiential learning. That's how we learn, by trying it and making a mistake. And learning from it is the most important part, too. All right. With creative thinking, uh, these are some of the aspects that we are familiar with, I hope, uh, adapting and originating ideas, which is similar to what um, the first teacher mentioned, where we have an idea, we adapt it from you know using our own ideas, and we create something new out of that. We take risks, just like the teacher from Nong Kai just mentioned. Interview foreigners. We can make a mistake and learn from that. We have to be able to encourage our students to be risk takers, right? Being open and being responsive. Responsive being, meaning that when you are open, that means you're open to making mistakes and open to learning something new and you respond to it. Thinking in new ways, in new avenues, new directions. And a very important point, that failure is actually a good way to learn. Once we fail, we will know the ways, the ingredients to succeed. Take failure or crisis as an opportunity to learn and to grow. สำหรับครีเอทีฟทิงกิ้งนะคะท่านอาจารย์ก็เอ่อแนะนํานะคะเป็นตัวอย่างมากมายเลยนะคะทั้งการที่เอ่อให้นักเรียนเนี่ยได
ทำสิ่งใหม่ๆนะคะแล้วก็ต้องรู้จักที่จะ take r i s k นะคะคือยอมที่จะเสี่ยงนะคะทำผิดลองผิดลองถูกนะคะเพื่อที่จะได้เรียนรู้แล้วก็ต้องเปิดต่อต้องต้องยอมรับนะคะในการที่จะเ,เรียนรู้สิ่งใหม่ๆในการที่จะอาจจะต้องทำอะไรผิดบ้างนะคะแล้วก็ลองคิดไปในแนวทางใหม่ๆนะคะแล้วก็อย่างที่สำคัญที่สุดก็คือว่าต้องยอมรับว่าความลุ่มเหลวนะคะก็เป็นบทเรียนนะคะเราเรียนรู้จากการลองผิดลองถูกนะคะความลุ่มเหลวความลุ่มเหลวไม่ใช่สิ่งที่ผิดนะคะแต่ว่าเป็นสิ่งที่น่าจะกระตุ้นเราให้เราเราลองใหม่แล้วก็ได้เรียนรู้ค่ะ Thank you and now we have arrived at those last two C's that are going to be the foundation of this DVC series. Culture and collaboration. We've talked a lot about many different cultures and not so much about the collaboration between and among our students and within the ASEAN community. So two questions first before we move on. How are these two C's ingredients to success in today's global village? So first thinking about the combination of culture and collaboration. And of the five C's, why should these be considered as the core foundations? Why these two and not the other three in particular for the AEC? Why are these two core for the AEC? ค่ะคำถามที่สำคัญของท่านเจนเชนะคะก็คือว่าทำไม culture กับ collaboration นะคะวัฒนธรรมนะคะและความร่วมมือเป็นปัจจัยสำคัญนะคะปัจจัยพื้นฐานสำคัญสำหรับนักเรียนของเรานะคะในการที่จะเข้าเตรียมตัวเข้าสู่ประชาคมอาเซียนFirst thing that we go to the ASEAN community, we have to learn about the culture for the other country, to know, to know about the uh, language, the clothes, the food, or everything that the other country. Yes, and then if we know about the countries, we have to learn. And collaboration, the culture together. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, we have to know the different aspects of the other cultures within ASEAN, and to be able to work with them, right, and how to communicate with them effectively and work with them effectively. Anyone else would like to share something else, something new? Everyone's staring. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. No. Okay. Yes. Ajan, I can try. In brief, I think that because of this five CS uh, would create and provide students to have more opportunity, not only in our country, but also in our and among ten member states. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if our students have a chance to run business or work their profession mm -hmm. in, for example, the in Philippines or in Indonesia or maybe that Cambodia, for example, Cambodia, may I focus on Cambodia? That if, uh, yes, as, as you know that we have a border conflict mm -hmm. 
between us. Mm. And so if uh, maybe that they, they, they have a chance to uh, work near, very near mm. the border, mm. and they can't adjust themselves mm. to that which must do, which must don't, mm -hmm. is the big problem for them. Right. So this is the, it's very interesting that the 5C is very necessary and very crucial for them to know. Right. So after that, they, if they had already known, they uh, could manage and reconciliations for themselves in the future mm. if they had a chance like that. Mm. Thank you. Excellent point again, Ajahn. Mm. It's, it's also with opening the borders or right now situations with other countries where it's contentious or where it, there's a bit of a conflict. And culture and collaboration, these skills, along with the other three skills, can promote harmony, can promote peace, not just development, but communication that is friendly and that is beneficial for both countries and all countries. So it's also a way of conflict transformation, right? Where you understand the culture and be able to work with the culture and adapt with each other. Instead of like this, it's more like this, right? We see many images like this. We have to truly make it more like this, right? And so these are some aspects, and we can definitely add more with culture and collaboration. Being flexible, respecting others, understanding and respecting others, and being exposed to and understanding diversity within our backgrounds, abilities, and perspectives, appreciating the other abilities of others that we meet, and also trying to understand their different perspectives, and working together to find solutions to problems that we already have, and be prepared for problems that we will encounter in the future. ค่ะสำหรับ culture and collaboration นะคะที่ท่านอาจารย์เชยบอกว่าเป็นปัจจัยสําคัญ 2 เอ่อก็อย่างที่ท่านอาจารย์เอกชัยพูดนะคะคือมีถ้ามีปัญหาความขัดแย้งนะคะเราก็ต้องเรียนรู้ซึ่งกันและกันก่อนนะคะเรีย
Okay, our quick minute is now over. <laughs> Would any site like to share their definition of culture and name some aspects of culture, particularly Thai culture? Any site is welcome to share. Yes, here in Bangkok, we have a hand. Hello. Hello. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I think that do as I like is the real Thai people. Mm. For example, no queue. Breaking the traffic rule is Thai people. Uh, okay. So your definition of culture, do as I like, with specific examples. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, here again. Okay, definition of uh, culture, I think uh, most Thai people kindness and smile and open mind, mm. give everything for someone you don't know. Right. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, it's over here. I want to give a definition of culture. I think culture is uh, the good thing that we believe it mm. is good for, for that uh, that side. So when we believe, we we do every day. Every day is a culture, mm. and I think Thai culture is uh, the most thing is why when when uh, another uh, another another con country come to our our city, they always ask what is the meaning of why and what what is the the real meaning, right. not an action, but is the meaning. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Uh, you're bringing up just the, the basic definition of culture, right? The ways of life of a people, of a group of people, of a community. What they do from day to day, um, what defines their lives, their culture, their customs, right? Their behavior and attitude. And the specific example there with the why is the greeting. How do people greet each other in different cultures? Okay. Well, I would like to hear more, but I think we need to move on a bit. Okay. So. Um, this activity is going to be quite quick and this is an activity that many teachers have done and I welcome you to do as well and adapt it in your classrooms and it's called the culture box or the culture bag some some teachers call it the culture bag and this idea is how you can have your students and yourselves think of what represents your culture and you in this bag Okay, and so I put there working individually because it's really an individual project. And in this project, you have to think of six personal items, personal things that represent you. So for your students, six personal things that represent each of them personally, right? And it represents them and their culture that they live in and the culture that they live by. So. Each of these personal items have to fall into a category, either with greeting, with food, with language, clothing, all those different aspects of any culture. And you draw your own bag, or even create your own bag. Not buy it, create it, make it yourself, right? It could even be a box if no one wants to make a bag, like something, a container. So. Since this is just a quick activity that you can make it longer later for yourself and your students, I would like you to show my bag. I, I would like TOT to show my bag and the visualizer could turn it on. And this is just a very quick example of how we can make this a short activity and you could make it longer. So this is my bag. <laughs> okay, it's nothing fancy, just a simple bag. And I have there six personal items that I thought of. I actually own them, okay? And I narrowed it down from all these different aspects of culture into six. And one is music. I really love a singer named Joni Mitchell. I have her music, her CDs. She's quite old now. From the she's from the 1960s. She's Canadian, actually. I love her songs. So for me, that defines me because I grew up listening to her music. The other one is about family, family as an aspect of culture. Over there, you see in the top, 
you see my, uh, looks like a frame. That's a picture of my mom and me. I bring it with me wherever I go because my mom is with me wherever I go. And there you see food. You see cheese. I love cheese. It's a personal item. I always try to buy, but you know it's very fatty. I don't like to eat it too much. But I love cheese. So that's an aspect of culture, food. Next to the leaf, or next to the cheese is a leaf, right? Um, I collect leaves and I put them in my books. And I believe in nature, in environment, and trying to, to keep it healthy for ourselves. So that is about, that aspect of culture is how we, uh, is, is our concept of nature. It's our concept of the environment. That's an aspect of culture. In the bottom there, you see, it looks like a book. And I have many books by an author named Bell Hooks. I own a lot of books by her. And for, that's an aspect of literature in, in culture, it's literature or books. And on the very top, I know it looks like a potato. It's not, it's a stone. I also collect different stones wherever I go. And for me, the stone is a symbol of strength. So that aspect of culture is the concept of yourself. Because many different cultures have a, a concept of yourself. So those are my items, and I connected them to an aspect of culture. So what I'm going to ask you to do very quickly, since we don't have much time, instead of drawing a bag, you can just list some of your items and connect them to an aspect of culture. กิจกรรมนี้น่าสนใจมากนะคะอาจารย์เชให้เราลองนึกถึงของใช้ส่วนตัวของเราสักหกอย่างนะคะค่ะใส่ใน culture bag ของเราเนี่ยนะคะแล้วก็ให้เราพยายามเชื่อมโยงของใช้ส่วนตัวทั้งหกอย่างนั้นเข้ากับมุมมองด้านวัฒนธรรมของเรานะคะอย่างที่อาจารย์เชยยกตัวอย่างนะคะว่าอาจารย์ชอบเพลงนะคะอาจารย์มีใบไม้นะคะขั้นอยู่ในหนังสือนะคะอาจารย์ก็โยงเข้ากับธรรมชาตินะคะหรือว่าอาหารนะคะฟู้ดวัฒนธรรมของอาจารย์อาจารย์ชอบชีสนะคะหรือว่าหนังสืออ่านหนังสือนะคะซึ่งอาจารย์ก็จดจงว่าออของคนที่แต่งที่ชื่อเบลฮุกส์นะคะก็มีหลายเล่มหรือแม้แต่ก้อนหินอาจารย์ก็เชื่อมโยงว่าเป็นการพูดถึงอะไรฮะความเข้มแข็งนะคะความมั่นคงความมีพลังค่ะอาจารย์ชอบสะสมก้อนหินอย่างนี้เป็นต้นนะคะหรือว่ารูปกับคุณแม่ซึ่งอาจารย์เอาไปด้วยทุกที่นะคะที่เดินทางก็ก็เป็นความผูกพันนะคะค่ะ and if you can't think of six three is fine yes if you can't think of six three one whichever We'll ask for a volunteer from each site. Thank you, and you could talk about your bag. <laughs> I just I can't imagine about for for uh, my my culture. Mm -hmm. uh, first, now that I do yoga every day, so this Me is too. yes, I yes I see you good have good chair. <laughs> so you do yoga. Uh, I do yoga every day, so this is my culture, and uh, uh, I like to eat Japanese food. And reading English book, children, uh, especially children English book, because uh, all of this I do with my uh, my son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I I have to do it. every weekend. We uh, go out to a, a Japanese restaurant to do it and do this activity with with my son. And uh, my my culture is uh, uniform because I have a I I have to be. A, In discipline because I am a soldier, so I wear a uniform every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Anyone else, Nong Kai or Hua Hin, would like to share their culture bag, even if it's just one? You don't have to draw it. You can just share an item or two. What would be in your bag? One or two items. Yes. Yes, in Hua Hin. Please. Hi. <laughs> my bag is um, very big, big and strong because I I need a lot of thing in my bag. 
For example, book is very important because when I have free time, when I have to waiting for something, I will have my book so I don't lose my time because I can read, can be a philosophy or just novel sometime. But I have to have book in my bag as well. The second thing is a uh, gum, chewing gum. <laughs> That means I concern very much about the smell or something in my mouth or the look of my face. I mean, ex uh, appearance. So I will have chewing gum and comb and uh, mirror as well to look at my teeth. Is there something <laughs> between my teeth or is that smell bad or something like that? I have to check always. And then the third thing is water. I have to have water in my bag as well because I have to drink water every in 30 minutes because it's good for health. So I will concern very much about health. Uh, the fourth thing is um, pocket money. In the pocket money, I will have ATM card or any card because I think if I would like to go anywhere or to buy something, I can do it immediately. As well, I have my, I have the picture, I have the photo of my brother, my beloved brother and my parents as well inside. Yes, and that's okay. it. That's what something Thanks. important, something uh, that is my culture. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. I'm sure that all of you would like to share something, but there is a point that I'd like to make, and we'll continue on with this in the second session, is that this is sharing personal stories, and this is how our students can, um, can be encouraged to speak English with their personal items because they're sharing something about themselves. And I want you to think about how this culture bag project can be applied in your classroom. How would you do it differently? What would you change? What would you add? What part of your curriculum can you do this and include this culture bag project? And how can you make it a collaboration or an effort with your class? I want you to think about that for the next session. And if any of you have your culture bags that you would like to share, please do so in the second session. And if you try it with your students, please do share that as well. And we'll continue on with a review and moving on to the third C. Thank you very much. ท่านอาจารย์เชยบอกว่าท่านอาจารย์ทุกท่านก็คงอยากจะแชร์นะคะว่าท่านมีของใช้ส่วนตัวอะไรบ้างนะคะที่จะบ่งบอกถึงว่